Alrighty, what is up everybody? We are back for another Just The Tip video. Uh, today we are gonna go over the Dumbbell Clean and Press. Now, I know the Dumbbell is not my best overhead event, but I like to think I'm pretty damn good at it. Um, we're gonna go over the technique for the clean, the press, uh, and how to put the Dumbbell down to make it most efficient for you in an event. Uh, so there's a lot of little tips and tricks that we can go over to make this event work for you. Uh, I'm gonna show you on three different Dumbbells, so we'll go pretty heavy today we'll go start with like 140 then go 180 then go 220 uh so the top set will be 100 kilos or so and uh like i said really just working on the technique the positioning on the shoulder overhead where you want the dumbbell to go and then how to drop it so it doesn't bounce all over the place on the ground for you so you can get quick resets and the most amount of reps so uh i'm gonna get my stuff on get a little bit warmed up and then we'll start pressing some dumbbells You ever see those videos of like the NFL guys that hit like 20 miles an hour on a treadmill? This is the one that they hit it on. I'm not gonna rock it, so. No way. You could have fooled me on that one. <laughs> that thing is pretty sweet. See how fast you can go, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's hard. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. The fat. Yeah. If you want to go faster, yeah. Yeah. If you lean, if you go forward, you're gonna go faster. Yeah. Back, you're gonna go slow. Spotting the treadmill. <laughs> I won't do that. Maybe I will. We'll see. Alrighty. So we're gonna get into the dumbbell clean and press a little bit right now. So, starting off, I'm gonna start with the 140 to start. Now, if you watch the log press video, one of the things that I talked about a lot is elbow position, and that's what you're gonna hear a lot in this as well. Um, so, once the dumbbell is on our shoulder, the biggest thing is to making sure that your elbow doesn't dip and fall away from you, because doing that, it's gonna pull you to the side, pull you out of alignment when you're going for the press, you're gonna lose a lot of transfer of energy, and it's just not gonna be as efficient. What we wanna do, remember, to make the clean and the rack position as effortless as possible to give you as much energy to go into the press. So when we're looking at the dumbbell, you want to stand over it. Now, for the clean, there's a couple of different ways that I see people do it. Most popularly is you'll see somebody grab it and kind of swing it up and around, kind of like this, and up into position. For me, I like to take advantage of things that we use in Strongman, like our belts. So I actually do a belt clean with the dumbbell. And what that is, is I actually pick it straight up, I'll put the far end on my belt, and then lever it up onto my shoulder into position to make it as effortless as possible. So that clean looks something like this. Now, when it's up on our shoulder, we have it resting on the trap against the back of our head. My elbow is perpendicular and parallel, parallel to the ground, and that's gonna be our pressing position. So you wanna hold it here, make sure that elbow doesn't dip. You're gonna dip down again so the elbow stays parallel to the ground, and then explode up and press the dumbbell overhead, thinking of moving your bicep to your ear. So that's gonna look like this. down so when we're going overhead with the dumbbell there's a couple of different ways to do it so what I just did was just a push press you could also do a push jerk which is commonly seen um, especially when going heavy which if you have any background in lifting the push jerk is where there's a double dip or a double bend in the knee so we're gonna have the dumbbell in position we're gonna initiate the press we extend up as the dumbbell is moving up towards the sky. We're gonna drop down underneath it, catching it in a locked arm, standing up fully to finish the lift. That typically is the easiest way to do it. Shortens the range of motion, shortens the press, and gets that lockout a little bit quicker. So after we've done all that, the last piece of the dumbbell is how to put it down. 
So I'm gonna do a couple of reps and demonstrate different ways that people put it down. And then I'll talk about the way that is most effective to getting the most amount of reps in that 60 second time limit. All right, so I'm gonna do two reps and demonstrate how to not drop the dumbbell because you'll see when it hits the ground, it's gonna bounce all over the place and not be in a nice even line to pick it up and go right into the next rep. So that's what I'll do on these two reps right now. So as you can see with those two different motions, the first way I dropped it was from overhead. I kept my hand in this position and brought it straight down, palm to the ground. What that's gonna do is that's gonna actually turn the dumbbell 90 degrees when it's on the ground. So then you have to reposition it, then go for your next rep. Another way I see people often drop it is from here, they'll point their thumb out away from them and what that does is it'll cause the dumbbell to fall lopsided so one end will hit and it'll kind of bounce back and forth take a few seconds to settle before you can initiate the next rep the best way to drop the dumbbell from overhead once we're in this position is actually thinking about pointing your thumb towards you and towards the ground so you're going to internally rotate the shoulder and that's going to make the dumbbell fall flat on the ground right in front of you then you can just re-pick, clean it, and press it. And that's the most efficient way to do it. So what I'll do, do a couple of reps here, then we'll go a little bit heavier so you can see what it looks like with some heavy dumbbells and how the body position changes and the ways to make this lift most effective. So again, with this rep, I'm gonna do the press. We're gonna internally rotate the shoulder, point the thumb down and towards us, and that will make the dumbbell land nice and flat so we can go right into the next rep. So you'll see what it looks like here. didn't look that good with this dumbbell. Hopefully it looks better with the heavier one. All right, so we've gone up to 180 right now. So we did the 140, nice little warm up. We'll get to 180, a little bit heavier. And again, just gonna do a couple of reps showing that good position on the trap behind the head, elbow parallel to the ground. Make sure the elbow doesn't dip when I dip. Going for the press, putting the bicep to the ear, and then dropping the dumbbell again, internally rotating the shoulder, pointing that thumb to the ground, to make a nice clean rep. better so we've gone to the heavy one 220 pounds 100 kilos um, again this is just to like show you all what it looks like what a heavy dumbbell cleaning press will look like again trying that clean technique of levering it off the belt up into position same thing as the other presses making sure that elbow is parallel to the ground when we go for the dip, the elbow doesn't fall to the side. We're engaging our lat. We're pushing up into the dumbbell while we're dipping to make sure that we don't lose this position. We initiate the press. We explode up. We're thinking about pressing our bicep to our ear to get that dumbbell over our center of gravity as we're dropping under into the push, into the push jerk. Um, and then from the top, again, coming down, we're internally rotating the shoulder. We're pointing the thumb down towards the ground guiding it with the opposite hand into place so it lands nice and flat, and we can just go into the next rep. So I'll do a couple of reps now, and you can see what that looks like.
I'm out of breath. I'm sweating way too much from just demoing a demo cleaner press. But there you have it. Um, again, just breaking down the basics of this lift, trying to make it as effective as possible when we're going for reps, especially in a strongman contest. There aren't many times where, where we see a max weight dumbbell. So more often than not, you're gonna see lighter dumbbell, high reps. The more efficient you make it, the more reps you get, the more energy you save, the better you feel throughout the event. So again, starting from the beginning, we're gonna grab the dumbbell, clean it however you'd like. I do uh, think that you should try levering it off the belt a little bit. It saves a little bit of energy, a little bit easier on the posterior chain because the weight's not so far in front of you. So you rest the far end of the dumbbell on the belt, pop it up into position. We get it all resting on our trap behind our head, making sure again that elbow is parallel to the ground. We're pushing up into the dumbbell, activating the lat. So when we dip, that elbow doesn't fall to the side. We initiate that press, we think bicep to ear. We drop underneath it in a push jerk. Once it's overhead and our feet are together, we're gonna internally rotate the shoulder, point our thumb down towards the ground, guiding the dumbbell down to the ground so it lands nice and flat in between your feet. It doesn't bounce around. Again, saving energy, saving time, making it more efficient for you when you're hitting this event for max reps. So that's all we have for this Just The Tip video. It took way more out of me than it should have. Obviously, I need to get in better shape. But as always, check out Gymshark down below in the description. Let us know in the comment section what other events you want to see for the Just The Tip series. Share the video, subscribe to the channel, give us all the love and you can get and until next time, peace out.